Hey everybody, what is up? I just wanted to show you the handle for the shield that I'm working on. Um, <clears throat> a lot of things to say about it. I switched to Poplar. Check this out. Poplar is interesting. It's got a... Uh, let's see if I can... Hopefully that'll get it. It's got a hollow core, which I'm a little nervous about, but oh my gosh, this thing, it weighs nothing. Um, it files down super great, super fast, which is great. Uh, yeah, so I'm just trimming this thing up, getting it ready to fit the shield. I'm gonna try and work with this natural curve right here so that this will be the outside and this will be the inside, grabbing it like that. Sort of give it a, a natural, uh, I don't know, natural concave shape. So anyway, yeah, um, Poplar. Uh, it carves even easier than redwood, and redwood seemed like it was just super simple. Um, if you're going to do this with hand tools, definitely go through the trouble of getting the right wood because it's so much more shapeable. Um, yeah, that balsa wood, it, it, you could cut it with a with a box cutter. It was ridiculous. Uh, so anyway, yeah, I'm basically just l l waiting for my yarn to finish mordanting. I've put some alum in there and so we're gonna try blackberry dye today and I'm just getting this um, handle knocked out Well, I wait. Yeah, so I just got my handmade nails. Uh, it's kind of weird being a blacksmith and ordering handmade nails, but my forge isn't set up and I didn't want to set my forge up and get the fuel and everything put all together just to make a dozen nails. <laughs> so yeah, I bought nails. Um, and I'll be showing those to you guys later. Alright, well, better get to it, huh? If you guys can see this little notch here, but... See that? That makes a huge difference. Now just hold it right there. It helps control. Very helpful. It's just a little knot hole in the bench.
I didn't record applying the uh, fabric backing, but I wanted to talk about it for a minute in this film. I will make a separate film about that somewhere else, just so it's seen there. So I put the fabric backing all the way up to the filed down edge and then lapped the hide over it and glued that down, as you can tell in the photograph there. That little blue circle there is just the blackberry dye and me experimenting with it. You can see how bent this handle is. Naturally, I shaped it to be bent in an attempt to curl the shield, and it's flat now. Uh, the structure of the board bent the poplar, which might be an argument for using a hardwood stick, even though the weight, it'll add weight. Uh, yeah, so anyway, basically all I did was I bladed down a bunch of the glue and just dropped the fabric on top of it and smoothed the fabric into the glue. Um, later I went over it again with a couple more layers of glue to uh, just give it strength and to protect the fabric and that surface is as tough as nails. It really is. So. Yeah, I just wanted to get this shot in here because I don't really explain what happened to the back of the shield. <clears throat> I think sometime in the future what I'm going to do is a um, mix, maybe rotate back and forth between hide, fabric, hide, fabric, and see if I can make a sort of medieval fiberglass, so to speak. I think that would really add a lot of strength and rigidity. So. I've got the handle it looks like half nailed on in this photo. Let's see how I got everything all put together. Notice the black marks that mark off the holes for the handle and that they lie crosswise to the planking that you can see through the boards. I'm getting ready to drill the pilot holes for the nails. Let's take a look at the nails. I found these on Etsy. They're cheap, especially compared to other handmade nails. And uh, let's see if I can get it to. There's... Nice stuff. I wanted to point out the stack of cardboard under the shield that I'm using to let the nails travel all the way through to the heads without getting bent. There it is. So pretty much what happens here is I discover that the nails that I got were too short to clear the handle, shield boss, and shield all together. So I'm going to end up pulling everything out, 
straightening the nails and then lengthening them using an anvil so to speak and you'll see that in a second here's my anvil Okay, wow, that's perfect. <laughs> so yeah, have a dead sewing machine lying around to use as an anvil. That's the moral of the story. I want it sink in. Be too small. I could take a, a lot of wood off. That would be one answer. little eighth of an inch. Well, I got the rest of the nails in, but I figured that was a pretty easy thing to do compared to this one by the shield boss. So 
you can probably figure out how to do the rest based on these ones. Uh, the reason I used the, used the sewing machine is as you can see the edge of the nail is quite close to the shield boss so it was a problem of finding something to fit up against the head of the nail uh, in order for me to flip the whole thing over and then lay down the nail. Some people use rivets, some people use nails. Um, I don't see why nails wouldn't work and nails are easier so I tend to make so I tend to err on the side of easier to make in terms of mass production and stuff like that. Um, yeah so that was the struggle. Uh, you can use the side of a ball peen hammer instead of a sewing machine. It's just the sewing machine had that perfect shape for the uh, to rest right into the notch of the shield boss. Anyway, yeah, so basically I just did the other nails and then cut them down to size on the back end and nailed them over flat. They sank nice into the wood so it's safe and then later I coated the nail Stay with some hide next glue video so where there's nothing to talk sharp about on it. Applying the nice paint, and safe. more hide glue, and the edging. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video and are enjoying this series. Please give the video a like if you are enjoying yourself and subscribe to my channel if you're interested in seeing more how-to videos, different fiber arts, and all sorts of medieval and homesteading craft work type stuff. You can check us out on Facebook, Hacking Civilization. Uh, and Twitter, pretty much everywhere. Looking forward to hearing from you. Thanks.